Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now last time we continued exploring the prison down in the lock and we found Crix's cell and an audio log that pointed us to a Galbank transport named Legacy that went down during the war in a remote system and that was basically Crix's Legacy. There you are. Uh, we finally got to the warden's office with Blumin Mathis moaning his head off all the way there. Uh, we spoke to Delgado on the intercom before leaving in a prison transport shuttle and we came up here to the key. So, let's get into it. Jupa. Ask Jazz about D any ship upgrades. Right, Nothing dude. worse than a pirate ship with no personality. All right. We've still got the to actually... protects our own, but you turn against us... Oh, shh. Shut up. Good grief. Everybody wants to talk. Yeah, we've still got to get the frontier, because we've still got the shuttle set as our home ship, which I'm not happy about, but we'll sort that out. But anyway, let's go and speak to uh, yeah. Delgado. How do we How do we get up there? Is he in his office or something? Does he have an office? I genuinely... Can we... Is this a lift? Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. Sorry, Andre, I'm, I'm currently lost, my dear. Good lord. Closed? What's this? Hmm. Wonder what it once was. Who knows? Okay. Oh. We may not have official security on the key, but we're always looking for Aha. Oh no, that's the that's the bar. We don't want to go in there. Um How do I heard a lift. Aha! -ha! There we go, the lift. Jeez, Andre, you're in a rush. Sorry, I was just having a little sip of my coffee. Oh, yes, I remember this up here. Well, what future? Oh, dear. Okay. Hello. Hello. What's in here? Okay, I've seen all that jazz. I've got to know. Oh, just backpacks that. Ooh. S S N S S N N Cricks interview part four. Tell us about your arrest. Oh, I forgot my we could listen to these externally. Definitely one for the record books. Um. You see, security sent an armada after our little fleet of ships and picked us off one by one until the remainder of us made it to the wheel. For a listener's benefit, that was the star station in orbit around Voli that you destroyed just before your arrest, correct? You see, that's what they'd have you believe, but the truth is much less sinister. There was a firefight on the wheel when they tried to bring us in. We hold up, but you see security unleashed hell. The damage they caused was catastrophic. Oh dear. We only surrendered so we wouldn't die when the station exploded. Well, the UC says you set demolition charges to try and cover your tracks and make your escape. That's their story. You look in a stock. You'll have to go with your gut on what you I'll think really happened. Shut up, dude. Anyway, they took us in and tossed us into the lock. The that lovely resort they opened on Suvarov. And you were imprisoned there for how long? Well, it was supposed to be for life, Gail. <laughs> But I ended up serving two years before I decided I'd had enough. Look. Is there any particular reason that you started the riots that eventually led to the worst prison break in United Colonies history? Oh, yes. That was another one. I'm quite proud of that, actually. I honestly didn't do? think it would go as I well like as my it weapons did. like I like my coffee. As for the oh. reason, Ooh. it's simple. The UC were treating us like animals. Conditions in the lock were ridiculously bad and no one cared. Sorry, I was just listening. That's why they stuck okay. us on that ice ball in the first place. Out of sight, out of mind. Yep. Your escape caused the deaths of many that were stationed at the lock. Some would brand that as a bit dismissive for what you're describing as a protest. If you were simply advocating for your fellow inmates, mm -hmm. why didn't you just go through the proper channels? And what the hell was I supposed to do? Send a strongly worded letter to my duly appointed representative. Wake up. Do you see only response to actions, not words? In my mind, there was no other choice. You know what? L let's move past my 
time at the lock so we can get to the point of this goddamned interview. Hmm. There you go. Right, okay, now we can go up. Uh, sorry, I was just listening because I, I'm curious, you know. Hey, dude, just, 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 just give me a minute. I want to have a sniff around in here. Yes, so am I. It's an absolute nightmare and it's cold as... Cold as... Personal logs. Ooh. Buy a thread. Not that I'd admit it to neighbour, but the fleet's in bad shape. We lost a lot of good people and replaced them with human chaff. The worst part is people starting to turn on each other. That's how it is when things go to poop. It's every pirate for themselves. I doubt there'll be a mutiny, though. Neva talks a lot of poop, but she's loyal. And the rest of these idiots are too stupid or too greedy to agree on anything, let alone a new captain for the fleet. A pirate's idea of even of an even split is cutting you in two, so any conversation about banding together ends with a drunken brawl at the Nova. No, if this thing falls apart, it'll just collapse out from under us, like a damn sinkhole. And the way I see it, we're not going to survive hunting and pecking for creds. We need to go all in. The fleet's future starts and ends with Crix's legacy. Hmm, okay. Aquila City, huh? Sometimes I dream about Aquila City. The sand-dusted streets, the thick, heavy air, and the call of the wild beyond the wall. Everything is just how I remembered it. I'm back with my old crew, doing heists and busting heads for loose change. Milk money, we'd call it. And we were the bullies. There's only one thing that's off, really. The days have no light. Every time I look up, the sky is pitch black. At first, I thought it was old age. I've spent so much time on this floating piece of tin, maybe I'd forgotten what a killer sky looked like. But that's not it. When I'm awake, I can remember all of it easy enough. No, it's because, even as an arrogant little street punk, subconsciously, I knew Aquila City isn't home. Up here, with the fleet, is where I belong. Alright, dude, well... Yeah, okay. Anything else in here? Any other goods? Oh, intercom? No. Oh. Tissues? Okay. Uh, oh. Tell us oh. what the future holds for the Crimson Fleet. Right. <sighs> changes are coming, Gale. Mm -hmm. Huge changes. Oof. Crimson Fleet will soon be a much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large. It makes everything else pale in comparison. Good lord. Beyond that, the others have to wait and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. For the lols. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make this mysterious move that you're being so evasive about? <laughs> I know Sistef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing. I mean... Nothing in this universe will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalist to turn to the fleet. Possibly. You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. If you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Bam! There you go. I'm just... I don't think we've had this, so I'm going to take it, just in case. Okay. Oh. Oh, now we've got to read it. I'm sorry. I know we need to talk to Delgado, but but I've got to know now. Curiosity and all that jazz. So it was the Diary of... Ah, ha, ha. Diary of Kiyosuke... Nagata, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. And I sit, like my grandfather and great-grandfather before me, I know I will never leave this prison. My wife said my family was cursed. The Nagatas thought, perhaps, whatever spirits we offended would leave us be when we fled Osaka. But maybe we are cursed. 
and all this because I lifted baby formula. These laws are pitiless, leaving my wife, my child, with no hope, and I just sit here, getting angrier. They think they can just lock us away on some forgotten planet, but instead they feed this prison more bodies, more rage, more vengeance. One day the warden will pay. Maybe not this warden, but they will regret their justice, and our vengeance will be the stuff of legends. From the diary of Kiyosuke Nagata, an early prisoner in the lock, who was eventually executed for staging a prison riot. Hmm. So we have to go uh, go and have a look at that, which we will do. But let's let's talk to Delgado first. All there right. You oh are. Jesus! The hell took you so long? Chill out. It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Ugh. Not now, neighbor. Yes, shut up. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. Um. Yeah, there you go. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. But bam. I heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. How do we know? No, neighbor. Think. If Gal Bank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. No. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Hmm. Um. Yeah, we don't have much to go on. Just a name. Well, that is not necessarily true. Oh. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship. Yep. Which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. True. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Ooh. Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. Oh. All right. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Keel hauler. Legendary pistol. Well, do you know what? Aledjo will take it. Um, okay. So, yeah, who's Rokov? Rokov is... <laughs> well, he's Rokov. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately... He has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. Hmm. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Maybe. Maybe. Um. I mean, yeah. Cruise would be nice. Yeah. Good. Because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Andreja, we're going Neva on holiday. You and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. All right. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. Done and done. Easy. Okay. Uh, how do you want me to leave things with him? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave that entirely up to you. Oh. If you think he's come through for us, you can promise him he'll get paid. Okay. But if he gets in your way, then you take him out. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll get it done. You'd better. Easy. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Oh, okay. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvarov in one piece. Um... Yeah, why are, you, why are you taking my opinion into uh, into consideration for it? Because you're the one that finished the job. 
You followed orders and you put your neck on the block to get that data to the key. Mm -hmm. As far as Mathis goes, I'm sure you had to drag him through the lock and prevent him from doing something as stupid. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I do. He wanted to kill him, didn't he? So, yeah. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rock of Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. Sounds nice. And remember, Rockoff does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. Okay. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Matt. I have to tell him? I mean, all right. Well, there you go. Let's just take a little, a little peep at this... Um, this pistol he's given us, I don't I want to know. Uh, de -de 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 hall. Ooh. Is it like another version of our um, trick shot? 166, 151. So it's not as good in terms of in terms of damage, but it's got a higher fire rate and a higher rate of accuracy. And it's got more mods. Hmm. Do you know what we'll do? What we'll do is we'll favourite it for a bit. We'll stick it here on eight and just see, um, just see how it goes. See if we if, if we take this to it or not. Mathis, then we'll talk. Oh, fine. Jeez, Louise, I'll go and speak to the imbecile. Um. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Andrea. Hello, Mathis. Where are you, dude? Oh, you're in there, are you? The last Nova. Well, mate. Unfortunately. Your time with the Crimson Fleet has come to an end. Because you wanted to kill the boss man, and that's that's just not what's done. Hey, I want to talk to you. Then talk. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Ooh, I'm quaking in my scales, love. <sighs> dear. Yeah. Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? Gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. Terrifying, I'm sure. <sighs> Do you know what? Yeah, give it your best shot, oh, dude. Oh, I will, I can promise you that. Best part is, you won't even see it coming. But you have just told us that you will attempt it. Mm. Do you not consider that counterproductive if you mean to ambush us? Now get the hell out of me way! Oh, please, God, let me shoot him in the face. Ugh, I can't do it, can I? I'm not loud. Not loud! Well, never mind. I Come on, Andreja. What could go wrong in a place like this? A lot. Let's, let's, let's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. She's down there, isn't she? The Nova's always open. All right, Neva. Talk. Whole settled system's on the run someday. There you are. Yep. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Oh, fine. Um. Yeah, go on. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Oh, God. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. Mm -hmm. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's Sorry. simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those Galbate credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Um. Oh, what? I only wanted to scroll through my options. Um. Yeah, did they have anything to do with this award? No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the Galbank VIP suite. 
so he can catch a free ride at the company's expense. Fair enough. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the other spoiled brats. I guarantee he doesn't give a crap about what's going on at the event. <sighs> Should I finish it for her? I don't think Andreja will like it because I mean that's I mean it's if it's a charity event. Does the prize go to a charity or something? Yeah, how is it worth so much money? From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. Mm -hmm. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. Can I just sell? Well... Oops. I've got to stop doing that. I'm just trying to scroll, but it won't let me scroll. There we go. Um... No one likes a cheater, Neva. You need to win that trophy fair and square. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. I know. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Ugh. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm going to deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, God. I must stop doing that. Um, okay. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just take the pay cut and save myself the trouble. I don't know. ES award? Yeah. ES. Earth. Save you. Oh, Get Earth. It? Save you. Come on. Keep up with me here. I got about 17 other things to do and you're holding me up. You're holding me up with this nonsense. Yeah, maybe I'll just take the pay cut and save myself the trouble. You do whatever you want. I'm trying to offer you extra money and you're throwing it in my face. I'm going to remember that. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren. And bring me my goods. Absolutely fine. I know why I keep getting called Good Rook, luck. so I'm out. Report mission Kinetics. progress to the UC Kinetics Vigilance. Kinetics. Ugh. I don't want to be babysat by the UC Vigilance. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Ugh. I do not care what assurances you have been given that we are safe here. I do not trust the Crimson Fleet. No, well, you're quite right not to, Andreja. I don't believe I do either, If you've got dear. any spare creds, or just... If you have any spare creds, get out. Or should we maybe... No, 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 no. I need to get the Frontier back, though, definitely. Where is my ship? Been hearing some stuff about the Mantis being back. Yeah, that, that's... That, I know who the Mantis is. Ugh, I don't really want this prison shuttle, but... I wonder if I toddle on down to a planet and get myself my shit back. Okay. Ugh. I don't... Mm, I don't know. Okay. Alright, let's undock. They said they were going to bring the frontier back up, but I don't see it anywhere. And I want it. It's my ship. What? Wait a minute. Whoops. 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 Okay, the shield is offline. This thing is a little bit of a piece of garbage. Someone just phased in or phased out. Where is the frontier? I think once we've been to see the UC, we'll drop down to Sidonia and swap back to the um, the frontier. Because we need something with some. Uh, Shields and weapons, all that jazz. And that looks pretty. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that's stupid. But there you go. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. This isn't my ship, Bandraja, believe me. This is an oversized... Well... I don't know. Alright. Yes? Nothing. Here I am. There you are. Yo, back. So how did it go? It's fine. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Mm -hmm. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Um. I don't know whether to tell them or not, you know. Maybe I have to. I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Mm. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. Okay, well, Delgado is searching for a Galbank ship named Legacy that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy? Mm hmm. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Maybe. I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. Mm. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Uh, yes, yeah, story or not, Delgado believes it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Mm. Let me see what we have here. Nope, there are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Yeah, they're not stupid. no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Hmm. I'm supposed to board a Starliner to steal Galbank archive credentials. Yep. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. Mm -hmm. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. Yeah. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Maybe he did. Um. <sighs> yeah, I'll just I'll proceed then. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. I wasn't going to. dismissed. All right. I don't think I've got Remember any Remember to turn evidence in any for evidence it. fragments you find. Oh, there you go. Maybe I'll Good. Do. The more you find, the stronger our case. Uh, pick this up from the lockdown penitentiary in Suvorov. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. Mm, well, it just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Anything else? Uh, and then I found this at the warden's office at the lock on Suvorov. I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Mm -hmm. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but... Even the great Jasper Cricks needed a helping hand to get out of prison. Have any more? No, that's it. Understood. Keep searching and you're bound to find more. Probably will. All right. We'll be here if you need us. Ta-da, love. Let's get out. Okay. Let's hey. get out of here. Had enough of this affair. We'll head over to um, Sidonia, swap out the ship, and then we'll go from there. Aha! And here we are, and we are back in the wonderful frontier, as you can see, which is exactly where we want to be, because the frontier is an absolute gem of a ship, I think. I know a lot of people have probably rebuilt thousands of ships and made them all really cool and everything, but I just love the frontier. I think it's brilliant. 
Um, all right, let's get up first of all, because Hella wants to give us something, I believe. He keeps saying it, so let's see what he's got. What have you got, Hella? What you got? Hey there, Hella. Hey, what's going on? Oh, do you have anything interesting? For I've me? got something for you right here. What is it? Indecide. Well, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do a little, uh, a little maintenance. All right, that's uh, offloaded a bit of stuff. Come on, Andreja, let's uh, let's get aboard the Siren of the Stars. See how fancy this is. Is it fancy? So oh. Oh. I mean. Oh. Can I? Can I? No. Not allowed to take the. Hey, um, little cleaning dude. What's in here? Bolt croppers. What's in there? Oh, don't want that. Hello. Oh my god. Um. Yeah. Taking that. No offense, but I'm taking that. There you have it. Half bitten sandwich, even. Apparently, some people really don't like this as an item in the game. They find it offensive. I don't know why. It's a bloody sandwich for crying out loud. All right. What's 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 through here? Hello. Someone's someone's office. What's this? Yeah. What's this? Nah. The Nelson here. Drawings, cups. Oh, it's Andreja. All right. Um, are we suitably attired? We are not. Why is my spacesuit still showing? It doesn't make any sense. I'll blow it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's not important. This is like a cruise liner ship. It doesn't look very luxury, does it? No offense. Well, Whoa. time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. Mm. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Hmm. Um, what, no formal tour of the ship? Oh, sure, sure. First a tour, followed by a formal dinner at the captain's table. Love it! Let's get one thing straight. You're here for business, not for a vacation. So let's start by talking about Delgado's sudden olive branch. Let's not. Yeah, just be happy he's including you at all. Or should I just say I'm just following orders? I'm just following orders, dude. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers. Huh? Hi. Fine. Have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Mm hmm. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Nope. Um. Yeah, why don't you ask Navy yourself? Don't play games with me. We both know pinging a message back and forth to the key is going to take longer than we have to do this job. So stop holding me up. We're supposed to be working together on every part of this. So you're going to tell me what else you're here for or not? Nope. It's the only reason I'm here. Hmm. Okay. I am keeping quiet. So why are you targeting a gold bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average crimson fleet prey. Why the interest? Um. Yeah, wonder all you want. That's all the information you're getting. Oh, I see. We're playing this game now. Fine, fine. Well, you might as well turn around and hop back aboard your ship because you're not getting near Dombrowski without my help. Says who? It would seem we have little choice in the matter. We should hear him out. Oh, Andre, you're the voice of reason. Um. Hmm. You obviously have something specific in mind. Yeah, what do you want? Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. 
It's as simple as that. Well... <sighs> hmm... Yeah, you're in no position to make demands right now. Just do as you're told, maybe? Well, this is it. I can put a word in for him, I suppose, but it's up to Delgado. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm going to get, so I'll take it. Good! Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Shocker. Fortunately... The Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're going to have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. All right. Oh, no. Is shooting everyone an option? Alternately shooting ourselves to avoid it? <laughs> Andre, it's fine. Um... I didn't bring my dinner jacket. Yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. Oh, good. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Very good. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Very good. Well... <sighs> As long as there's free booze, yeah. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. All right. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to ask those questions. You're at the gala, avoid the kind of days. They're frozen, not fresh. Shocker. All right, so what are our options here? So, okay, we can discover the location of the ES Award, kill Larry Dombrovsky. Why would we kill him? Ask associate, uh, ask society patrons about Larry. Okay, well, let's 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 just um, take a little peep around to see if there's anything worthy of note. I assume we just go. These newer vessels more or less run autonomously. All oh, right. Which doesn't oh, this leave way. much for the crew to do. Around. Just chill. Must be nice. All right. This is like this is luxury liner. Captain Brokaw, or is right? it just? Welcome aboard. Yeah. All right. Every day that I wake up in my bunk, I count my blessings. <laughs> My God. There's Ooh. nothing quite like the view for the Starfield Ballroom. Deployment deck? Never seen one of those before. All right. I know I'm supposed to be, you know, finding the dude, but I just, uh, you know me, the loot goblin within me. Trident must have spent a fortune equipping this ship. Okay. Yeah, they probably did. Captain Rocco is one of the most easy... So this is obviously the... the the helm? Do you call it the helm? The main Between operations. You and me, the best part of my job is getting a crack at all the leftovers from the dining area. Oh, the lovely. Captain oh. Rockoff said you're allowed in any of the crew specific areas. I am. Just don't touch anything, please. I have to touch everything. All the things I have to Listen. touch. Touch, touch, touch. This is one of Trident's top of the line vessels. Okay. Oh, these are like. Ah, I see. Like crew. Oh. See ya. Oh, I see ya. Can we shut the door, please? Hello? Oh my god. Oh, yes. Close the door. And we're in! Okay. Company communications. Oh my god, okay. Captain, we've received your incident report regarding Deck Officer Kendley, who was reported missing about a week ago. According to what I'm reading, it looks like you've conjecturised that Ken... Kendley had a drinking problem 
and was last seen in the drunken state near one of the main airlocks. Three minutes after the sighting, the airlock triggered, depressurised Section 7A, and then Kendley was, unfortunately, sucked out into space. If this sounds accurate, we'll continue our investigation from here. If any new information surfaces regarding the incident, please keep us informed. Okay. Captain, could you please confirm and advise on the following missing items from Voy... 765. According to our dock master in the arrival port, these did not arrive as expected. 10 crates of precious metals, 15 crates of wine slash liquor, 10 crates of synthetic cloth, 20 crates of furnishings. Once you fi fill out the incident report, we'll start investigating. Probably just a miscount at the origin end of the voyage, but doesn't hurt to keep things safe. <clears throat> Captain, please be aware that the Terran Preservation Society will be boarding, will be booking the Sirens' next voyage, and they require full use of the Starview Ballroom. Extend every courtesy to their people and ensure that their event goes exactly as planned. This is a significant client, and we don't want to risk losing this account. We'll send specific details in the future. Mm, okay. Oh, sorry, I've already read that one. <coughs> Captain, we are still awaiting answers to our inquiry regarding the Siren of the Stars' last three voyages. On every occasion, the ship's cargo was several thousand kilos lighter at arrival, but the arrival port, excuse me. Simply chalking these up to human error is unacceptable. May I remind you that the missing cargo holds a substantial dollar value that we're responsible to cover due to loss. If we don't have a proper report from you by the end of the month, we will be forced to launch a full investigation. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> All right, Rockoff. I talked to the big guy, and just like I thought, he said, there's no way you're coming back. You had a chance and you blew it. How hard is that to understand? Between you and me, the only way you're going to get back, get him to change his mind is by giving us something we sink our teeth into. We can sink our teeth into, sorry. Something big. And it better be good, because last time was a disaster. Trying to offload 20 crates of furniture wasn't worth the time or the money, so never again. I'm going to throw you a bone, Rockoff. Get a deadbeat on your ship, one of the crew. Got a deadbeat on your ship, one of the crew. Name's Kendley. He owes us about four large from some bad bets he made back on Neon. And now Vincent wants his head. Make sure Kendley misses his next trip. And we'll see about changing the big guy's mind about having your back. Having you back. Good work on the Kendley thing. Not only did you send a message to every deadbeat in Neon, but you notched up a few ranks in my book as well. Only problem is, it wasn't enough. I'm going to need more. The big guy doesn't want to budge on this one, so you need to light a fire under his bum. You need a big score. Huge. Keep your eyes and ears open, and we'll see what I can. I'll see what I can do at my end. Got your message about the prize that's about to find itself on board. Now that's what I'm talking about. Since the event is coming up in a few weeks, I'll jump back home and try to convince someone to come out there and lend you a hand. Going to keep this one kind of quiet or else everyone will want a piece. If this works out, I'm almost positive the big guy will change his mind about you. Might cost you a chunk of change, but you want it back, want it back in so you can play the long game, right? Mm. Well, all right. Dodge pot. Very dodgy. I never had the patience for computer systems. No, well, thankfully I do, Andreja. And, um, you know, it's not so bad. Jeez Louise, she scared the life out of me then. Nothing else in here. Before we go to the, the luxury side of life. Ooh, request denied. Rock off. Once again, I am refusing your request to rejoin. We're not a membership club here, Rock off. This is the goddamn Crimson Fleet. You don't apply, you try out, and if neighbour doesn't put a hole in your skull, you get picked. That's how this works. You already went through it once, you had your chance, and you blew it. If you want to get my attention, maybe you should try scoring something valuable off that piece of crap you call a Starliner. Neighbour told me you lied about your record on the applications to get that gig. So, might as well put your position to good use. Cut the fleet in for a chunk of the creds, and maybe I'll start listening. Until then, stop contacting us, Delgado. Ooh, got some evidence. Alright, anything else? No. Ooh, anything else indeed, yes. Aha, crippling barrow knife. Eh. Okay, yep, yep. Not much of any uh, value or interest, but never mind. All right, let's, um, let's have another, oh, more staff quarters, I suppose. Yeah, nothing 
them up. Captain Rokoff said you're allowed in any of the two specific areas. I am. Just don't touch anything, please. I am touching everything. All the things will be touched by my hands. That sounds awful. I should not have said that. But never mind. I've said it now. Doesn't matter. Ooh, there's credits there. Andre, can you just move out of the there's way? There's nothing quite like the view from the star view of Rome. It's breathtaking. There you go. Aha. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, another cred sticks there. Can we just get... Yeah. Oh, we are hidden. I don't want the bloody humidifier. Can we move it? Oh, my God. Please. Just, just, just. Come on now. Oh, screw it. Right. Anything else? All right. Okay, let's let's get out onto the ship proper. And, um, maybe they did. Who knows? I mean, they might have spent a fortune equipping it, but, well, I don't know. Can we go this way? Is this something we can do? Ah, cockpit can't win there. All right. So, I assume we just go through here. This is one of Trident's top of the Um. Between you and me, through the there. best part of my job is getting a crack at all the leftovers from the dining area above the east. I mean that's fine if that's your thing. I wake up in my bunk. I count my blessings to have been posted to a ship like the Sergeant of the Stars. Sure, sure, All right. Well, do you know what? I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go out into the main area, and um. Listen. Stop you, but oh. This doesn't look like a ballroom. This looks like a storage area. No. Oh, look at this fancy. So fancy. Oh, this looks fancy. Okay, this is fancy. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Oh, I will. Look at this. Wow! That's very, very, very pretty. Very pretty. We shall indeed go to the ball, Andreja. Shall indeed. And to keep your Starview Pass handy at all times. Wow! Or you won't have access to the ballroom. Look at this! Oh my god, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Can we... The society chair has really outdone herself this time. This is amazing. I love it. Well, do you know what, folks? Given that we are now in a very nice place with our good lady, our beautiful lady, Andreja, we're going to leave it there for today. Next time we will uh, do our mingling. I might have to take my spacesuit off and maybe look a little bit more apart, but that's fine. So, until next time... <laughs> Be safe, be good, and look after you.